So this is your National Registry Skill Sheet for Oxygen Administration by Nano Breather. So the first thing we're going to do for every skill is going to be, you know, BSI, make sure that we have our gloves on. Um, then we want to gather our appropriate equipment. So for this particular skill, you need your O2 tank, um, you need a regulator. Your regulator has to have an oxygen inlet. Um, it also has to have um, a gasket. So you can see um, right here, there's a gasket on the inside of here. If that gasket is not there, you're going to have lots of leaks. Um, as I can, as I said, you need to have the oxygen inlet. This is what your O2 tubing hooks up to. Uh, as you can see, this one does not have that. Um, but this one actually has um, an extra piece that this one does not. And this would be something uh, that we use for CPAP, um, continuous positive airway pressure. And we'll get to that in a later, later video. Um, you'll also notice that uh, we have a gauge on here. Your gauge shows you when you need to refill it. Um, it also shows you when your PSI is good. So you can see that 2000 PSI is, you know, when a tank is full um, and we would need to replace um, anywhere around 500 PSI. We want to start thinking about carrying a portable, um, an extra portable tank with us. Now, of course, your ambulance will have your main, which you can use. But if you were, you know, at somebody's house for an extended period of time, um, we would have to be using our, our portable O2 tanks. So just make sure you, you have a spare and your spare is, is full. Um, the other thing you'll see, there's a dial. So this tells us, um, that was very odd. Um, this tells us how much oxygen we're gonna put on that patient. So you'll see, typically um, a non rebreather, you're gonna be anywhere from 10 to 15. So you'll turn that dial to 10. Um, or we can say, you know what, let's turn that dial to 15. Um, so that's how we know how much oxygen we're delivering to that patient. And that's measured in liters per minute. So I would say I'm administering 10 liters per minute through non rebreather. Now you can also see on your regulator, um, you have prongs. These prongs fit directly onto your O2 tank. Um, and you'll see in just a moment. The other thing to know about your oxygen tank is you never want to stand it up. If it falls down, um, it can actually become a projectile. So make sure if you are going to stand it up, you're going to be holding it. Um, and then uh, if you are not going to be near it, it always needs to be laying down or it needs to be secured. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our oxygen key. We're holding onto our tank and we're gonna crack it to clear any debris. So just real quick, it doesn't have to be long. Um, we just wanna make sure you clear any debris. The next thing we're gonna do, like I said, is select your regulator. Um, you wanna put your regulator on the O2 tank and you'll see that these line up perfectly. So, turn it around so that I can see it. Um, and so now we're going to tighten it down. Once it's on there, it's not going anywhere. We are going to open it. I left it on. We're going to open it two full turns. So we know that it's open. We're checking that tank pressure, right? So I'm looking at it right here, and I'm seeing that we have 1,000 psi. So we're okay for right now, but we need to start considering maybe our next call. We're going to need to, you know, make sure we have another portable. Regulator. So we have our, our oxygen tank. We have our regulator on. Um, the oxygen is on. So what we're going to do, we're going to lay our tank down. And now we're going to get our non breather. Okay, so you're going to open the packaging. Get it all untangled. I know this is all of... There we go. All right, so um, you'll see it has a reservoir bag. Um, this is you know, used to uh, place around the patient's head to secure it. And then of course, here's your oxygen tubing. So what you're gonna do is get it out of the knot Okay, now we're gonna put our oxygen tubing on here. And one of the things that we have to do with the non-rebreather is 
You want to put your thumb over this part right here because what we're going to do is we're going to pre-fill the reservoir bag. So I'm going to open it, cover that little part right there so it's nice and, you know, has some air in there. Put the air tank down because I'm not holding my tank anymore. And we're going to put this on our patient. So, the mask is going to go over their face. Let me do your elastic band is going to go right here. Um, and this is the way that your patient is going to receive that oxygen.